not another church movie barely feels like a parody of Tyler Perry's work in person and instead it really is just a series of insults about him the characters and also the movies that he's produced so to summarize the movie it's pretty much about how Taylor Harry the name is spelled like fairy because gay jokes but <laughs> Taylor tells us that the P is silent but getting to the point Taylor Harry is somebody we're introduced to as someone who is a lawyer, a surgeon, rides around on a scooter sometimes and does gig economy work to you know stay in touch with the people. But then God decides that he needs to do more or become more. And with this film's version of Oprah Winfrey known as Oprah Windfall, losing her influence in terms of her magazine not being a hit anymore, and also her p putting her name on the things that lead into it being a hit, such as a recent slave film that she produced. She decides someone else needs to empower a woman and take the role that she's built up. In God names, that's what Taylor Harry is gonna do. And you watch as they take inspiration from various members of their family to write what becomes the various movies that we know Tyler Perry wrote, though in this film, the idea is pushed that Tyler Perry didn't write all of his films. He just stole some of the work, but we're not going to get into that. So when it comes to the review, there's really only one thing to say, and it's just with this movie, it's very hard to tell when is a parody becoming an outright diss, if not just a plain old insult. Because whether you're t talking about the consistent imp imp yeah. talking about the consistent implying that Tyler Perry's gay <laughs> whether it's reminding us about the battle he had with the writer's skill of America in terms of exploitive practices calling out his writing and so much more not another church movie goes beyond what we saw in the boondocks and it's more so well not as artistic as what Kendrick Lamar is doing towards Drake it's definitely in the same vein of I've been waiting for this opportunity to say how much I hate you. <laughs> and now that I got it, I'm gonna spend as much time as I have to make it very clear that your existence, your fame, your success makes no sense whatsoever to me. <laughs> and that's kind of the vibe that you get out of this. But what makes this film very weird is that it's not like this is an indie film which has a bunch of no-name actors in it. It has Jamie Foxx and Oscar in it, Kyla Pratt, who most of us know from childhood, Jasmine Guy, Tisha Campbell, and many others. And it just makes the audacity of this film all the more because, again, this does not feel like a Wayans Brothers kind of parody where it's, you know, joking about certain scenes, moments, in the culture that's built into a movie, this seems like a personal attack on multiple levels. And I would even say some people kind of catch strays. Like, for example, Tisha Campbell plays a Tamala Man type character since she's playing a, what would be Cora. And between the padding and the way she acts, I'm not saying that Mac wanted to make sure that anybody who has been a part of Perry's empire catches a stray or two to know that we're not letting you off the hook but sometimes it does kind of feel like anybody and everybody associated can get it and in some ways it does cause a handful of comical moments but for the most part this movie just seems like it's just a machine gun toward everything that represents Tyler Perry and if there's collateral damage, so be it. Overall, when it comes to not another church movie, it reminds you why parody movies are barely made anymore. For as much as you have to applaud the audacity of Johnny Mac and those involved as they go after Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and others, after a certain point, you realize that there's not a lot of laughs that are gonna come from this. If anything, it's a lot of juvenile insults, commentary that feels kinda lame, and in the long run, it just feels like you're watching a hater who was able to get a budget to make a whole film about why they dislike somebody being more successful and influential than they are.